So I wanted to explain a little deeper about uh, some of the features here on the R&D module, which you see right here, um, which is very similar in the format to our ADSR module. And the reason that um, I wanted to design this random module that has a slidable clock and slidable range for the random is because I was getting really excited and stoked on the way that my Buchla Music easel was working as I could very quickly and on the fly change the, the rate of the pulser and then I could also change the stages of the ADSR and that would, um, that, that, it just felt right to me. It felt like the slider was the right way um, for me to make some West Coast music. So let's just kind of go into the different feature set. Right now I have the clock output feeding into the ADSR's gate input. And then I also have the random output feeding here into one of my DSMs, which is going to be the oscillator we're using here. And then it's just going out to our Unity Game Mixer and then into the mixer. And so um, you're going to be able to kind of hear what that sounds like. So let's uh, turn this up here and you'll just get a sense of the random. Um, this has got no CV inputs at all. It's on the medium stage or this medium setting for the clock rate. And you're just going to see here how it sounds. And I'm going to mess around with the ADSR and just kind of play around with some of the clock speeds and just kind of see how ergonomically it works. I like that real shallow um, poppiness here from our ADSR. It gives me exactly what I'm looking for. Let me trim the VC a little bit. Put some noise in here. So what I like about this is, again, I can just kind of move that, move it the way that I want it to be. Just If I don't want it to be in a set tempo, I can just kind of move it around. And then also I can make it slower here. I can lower the range here of um, the amount of voltage that the random will be selecting from. Turn up the VCO here a little bit the sweep a little poppier. So I've got a shallower range. Let me uh, let me increase that so we can get more of a range. And you get from zero to five volts and down here you've got very a very small amount maybe from zero to one volts. So let's go up there and I can do doing this. And on the slow, it's pretty darn slow. Um, that's our fastest here on the slow. And let's go medium the fastest. That's the fastest on medium. And then if we go to fast. Wow, that's kind of crazy. That's pretty fast, huh? That's pretty fast. So, but I like the fact that I can do this. And sometimes I'll even get two hands up in here, change the attack phase. Pulsar and um, and the, also the, the the ASR envelope on the Buchla Music Easel. So I, I just love the way these sliders feel. It kind of lets me just kind of bounce around from different uh, just just ways. If I want to change the timbre real fast, or if I want to change the speed, I can do that pretty fast, and that's that, that's pretty fun and cool. So um, let's 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 keep patching this thing. So what we can do, let's let's molt the um, let's turn this off. Let's molt the output of the random here so we can use it to do some other things so let's take the random and bring it into the cv input put it back to medium speed here let's take the cv input and plug in the random voltage still got a pretty high range and we're going to have this att cv attenuation and kind of see what happens so if we want to kind of um by itself change tempo we can do that let's turn it up a little bit now, if I turn the range all the way down, you can kind of see how. And let's uh, let's also grab out of here. Let's plug back in.
the random voltage into the CV pitch on the DSM here. So let's do that too. So let me turn up the CV attenuation of that input CV, which is from a random source of the same module. So now I've got kind of a random clock, which is kind of fun. And then it's going to be random based upon what my main rate is too here, so. So I feel like this is also something that I like to do with my music easels, just kind of have random clocks, but then I want to on the fly adjust the envelope. Which is kind of fun. Now, of course, I could also take that random voltage and I could plug that into the CV on my envelope for, let's just say, the release. So let's see how that works. So now I've already got some some random envelope lengths as well as random clock. And let's take the attenuation down where that CV isn't going to affect the clock rate just as much. So that's fun. I can also do it on all, all of the stages. It's good. Eh? And just back to that poppiness here that I really like. And of course, I can move that and also bring the CV att attenuation up so that I can have more of that randomness. Let's take the voltage out of the ribbon here module, our new ribbon MST product we're coming up to, and kind of add some voltage coming out of here with the ribbon with my finger here. I'm gonna get my finger down here, it's checking it in here. And I can increase the range. It's great for things like quantization. Now I've got a, lar a, a, a larger range. Maximum range is zero to five volts, positive. Let's see, I have that down here and I wanna add a little more voltage so it goes higher. It can go higher. Or down here with nothing touched at all and I don't have that. So I can use that random for a lot of things. Nice thing here too is that there is a clock input. So let's just say I don't want to use um, the onboard rate or I want to put my clock through a clock divider, a clock multiplier, I can bring it back in and that random voltage is going to move uh, according to whatever clock that I put in there. So let me just take the gate out or the pulse out here, the ribbon, just to see how that works. Notice, you're going to notice right now that we're not getting any change in pitch, are we? There's no change in pitch, but if I go up here and I start, I can change what volt I'm on just by touching because I'm giving it, I'm giving it its own clock or by my, the amount of times I'm touching it here a bunch, as you can see, we're flipping it around here, but if I want to change the voltage and I just kind of like that doing its thing for a while. Now I want to change the voltage again. I can kind of pop it around there. There we go. So as you can tell, hey, really fun module. I love what it does for just being able to touch the sliders with envelopes and also for my clock speed and my CV range um, over the amount of my clock speed or the CV range over um, to attenuation, excuse me, over the range of my random. And I mean, it just, it just, it just kind of hits that itch I would like, which to me is sliders and kind of that West Coast feel with the sliders. Anyway, thanks for checking it out.